I told my daughter that I won't attend her wedding if her biological father is there. She says that I'm being stuck in the past, for some context, about 24 years ago, I was essayed by a close friend of mine and got pregnant by the encounter. I was inconsolable for months after the event. To make matters worse, I found out I was pregnant at about 20 weeks and where I lived at the time, it was illegal to get an abortion after the first trimester. My husband had really been my rock and my support during that time and I do not know how I would have ended up if not for him. He said that I could put it up for adoption, or I could keep the child and he would raise it like our other children. I decided to not give it up for adoption but raising the kid was hard. I'm half Polish and half German and he is half German and half Russian. We both have pale skin, light hair and blue eyes, as well as being fairly tall, I'm 5 foot 10 and he is 6 foot 3. However, our daughter Luna is 5 foot 3, has dark hair and a brown complexion like her biological father. I often heard snide remarks about me being an unfaithful wife because it was obvious that she was not my husband's child. It was especially hard for me when Luna was young because she looked so much like her dad. My husband took care of my daughter most of the time since I had bad flashbacks whenever I saw her face from when I was assaulted. As she grew up, it died down a bit, but I would still get these horrible panic attacks when I saw her wearing boys' clothes and short hair. Since I was prone to having panic attacks, Luna ended up being closer to my husband than she was to me. Also, she often ended up getting a little more than her siblings from my husband as some sort of compensation because of me. We never told her that she was the product of SA because I was too ashamed and my husband did not want her feeling different from her siblings. I often told her that me and her biological father got into an altercation and never spoke to one another ever again. About two years ago, she got one of those DNA test items and found out she had a relative in the system. This said relative got Luna in touch with her biological dad and they started talking despite my protests. He apparently wanted to speak to me about something he wanted to tell me, so Luna attempted to persuade me to speak with him. I made her aware that me and her father shouldn't ever be in the same room together. Now, Luna is getting married to a lovely young man. The original plan was to have my husband walk her down the aisle but he had gotten into a bad accident leaving him in a wheelchair until his legs are strong enough to support his weight again. However, this is not her idea of a picture-perfect wedding day, so she invited her biological father to have the honor of being the bride's father. Her wedding invitation not only invited my assaulter, but she totally disrespected the man who raised her. Although I or a bridesmaid could have pushed him down the aisle, she thinks it would not fit the vibe of the wedding. My husband looked so shocked and upset that she would even think of this but I was furious. I have a visceral hate for that man and I let her know that I would not be anywhere near him. She told me that this is what she wants and there's no changing her mind so I told her I will not be attending if he's there. She got upset and told me that I shouldn't hang on to the past but I laid it into her that she doesn't know what happened between me and her biological father, so she shouldn't stick her nose where it doesn't belong. Though I feel terrible about what I said and how I said it and I can't be blamed for her being born or not knowing what happened since I never told her, I still feel as though my wishes should be respected if I say I don't want to be in the same room as someone. I'm now okay with her contacting her father I just do not want anything to do with him. Also, it's rude to replace your father with another man who you've barely known for two years because of something he couldn't control. Can anyone offer me a perspective that I am not catching? Has anyone ever dealt with this and if so how? Update, before I get started on the update, I have a few things I want to address. A lot of people have questioned me on why I did not tell my daughter that she was a product of SA. The only answer is that I was ashamed of myself. For some context, before I got married to my husband, I actually was very close friends with my attacker. We grew up together in a small community and our families were close, our parents even wanted us to get together. He was always interested in me but I didn't give him a chance until university. I broke it off with him and started dating my husband but I never cut him off because we were very close. He invited me over to drink, this was normal for us, and when I started getting a bit tipsy, he essayed me. I was very traumatized by the situation and tried to get him jailed but I couldn't. He had a very good reputation so everyone believed him, even my own mother, when he said I willingly came over and did it with him. I eventually stopped pursuing because of the social pressure which only got worse when I found out I was pregnant. I eventually left that place with my husband and the kids to live somewhere else. After I gave birth my husband suggested therapy but I was scared of being judged again so I decided to bury it and try to forget about it. I just realized now that it was the worst way to go about this but it's the only way I knew how to honestly. Now onto the actual update, after reading all the advice I'd gotten, I decided that I should stop running away and tell her everything. I called her to come over and she did. I first apologized for yelling at her for her suggestion because in her mind, it was an innocent suggestion. I told her that I wasn't angry at her, but how fast she was willing to replace her father because he was in a wheelchair, and that anger was compounded because she brought up her genetic father. I apologized again for acting childish and not like an adult. She asked me why I am so against her genetic father being in the same vicinity as I am and I just told her everything from our initial friendship to her forced conception. She didn't believe me, like some Redditors predicted, but I can get a copy of the records of the court case and offer them to her if she needed a look. She looked stunned like she wanted to believe me but couldn't. I apologize for keeping all this from her because I didn't know how to bring it up. 
She told me she didn't believe me and would confirm with her genetic father so I told her to take the time she needed to process all this. Later that day, she came again, crying and apologizing for not believing me. I held her and cried and apologized too. It was kind of therapeutic. We had a long chat and I did feel closer to her. When we were done, she said she wanted to take me out to a surprise to help me feel better in a couple of days, which I happily agreed to. I went to see her yesterday in this little restaurant with a patio that had a private pay-for-use area for a maximum of four people. As she ran up to me and gave me a hug, she led me to the patio, where her biological father stood. She told me he was here to apologize and start my healing journey. I just wanted to leave but he grabbed my hand and all those memories I tried to repress just came back out. I started having a panic attack and lost balance to which he tried to help me keep my balance, which worsened everything. I honestly don't remember how I left but I ended up in my car just sobbing. I called my elder son to pick me up because I was not fit to drive at that moment. Today, my daughter called me upset that I ruined her surprise but I was extremely upset with her. I asked her why she did that when she knows everything that happened between me and him, and she tried to use the excuse of my healing journey but I wasn't having it. She admitted that she wanted me to get used to him because he's gonna be walking her down the aisle along with my husband and doing the daddy-daughter dance. I told her that while I loved her and respect her decision to be with him, I'm not willing to be anywhere he is. She started complaining about how she wants all her family to be there and I'm still not forgiving but I hung up the phone. My husband is aware of everything and stands by me of not going to her wedding but I don't want this. If my other children were to know, they would stand by me and tell the rest of their extended family which is going to lead to my daughter getting disowned by the family. Anyways, one good thing to come out of this is that I'm finally confident enough to seek therapy. Update number 2, hello everyone, it's been a while. My husband and I have both been attending therapy that has been very successful. My therapist said it would be good to fill the family in on what happened. For reference, I have three other children, 30 male, 27 female, 27 male. My eldest boy is the only one that had a slight idea of what happened but the other two were left unaware. I was quite scared and anxious to tell them what happened, especially because my mother and other family members initially reacted negatively. I invited them over around two weeks ago for a family dinner and told them everything that happened, with the conception of my youngest, to what happened recently. They were all silent and stared at me, so I became a little nervous until my daughter started crying. It was so upsetting for her, and my two sons were pissed off at my youngest and her father. They asked why I didn't tell them earlier and I told them I was just scared of how they could have reacted. My husband took them out of the dining room to talk while my eldest daughter and I just cried together. When my boys and husband came back, they apologized for leaving early and left. My eldest daughter wanted to spend the night with me but early in the morning, she left with her brothers to do whatever. I didn't hear anything from them until last Wednesday. I was on Facebook when I saw my elder daughter's post calling out my younger daughter for not only ignoring the man who raised her, but siding with her mother's attacker and re-traumatizing her. My boys made similar posts as well, dragging her name through the mud. I had so many direct messages but I didn't want anything to do with them so I deleted the app off my phone. Since I don't like people knowing about my personal life, I asked my kids to take down the post. They said they did but I haven't re-downloaded the app to find out. My youngest would have been husband came to my house with his mother to apologize. He told me he broke off the engagement because he couldn't be with someone who treated their parents like that. His mother let me know how disgusted she was with my daughter's actions, and someone like that would never be a part of her family. I was honestly stunned by all the support I have received. It's one thing to receive support online but receiving support in real life was surreal for me. I'm a bit disappointed because, I wanted my daughter's former fiancé to join the family as he is a lovely and sweet boy, but he has boundaries in a relationship that my daughter unfortunately crossed. As for my youngest, she is furious with me. She sent me a nasty voicemail saying that I ruined her life. Her friends and fiancé basically cut her off. Needless to say, I felt terribly sorry because I had attempted to avoid this situation at all costs. I went through what she is experiencing and I know exactly what it feels like. I told my therapist about this and she told me that the difference is that while I was the victim, my daughter brought it on herself. My therapist is probably right but I can't stop this feeling of dread. I tried to call my daughter but once I heard her father on the line I hung up. He took it upon himself to let me know that my daughter is depressed because of my actions. I feel terrible for treating my daughter like this. My husband says that I should focus on myself and I'm trying to but I just can't stop worrying. I don't think that my daughter is safe when she's with her biological father. This is all that's going on in my life right now for all those asking. Thanks for everything.